Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I have three cards for you to choose from today. We have another pick a card and I was going to do the gossip on you, but Spirit had these cards come out and they seem like, I don't know, like the energy is like less like tea, less gossip, more like how are people viewing you? And I feel like maybe it'll get a little bit deep, but there's going to be some lighthearted stuff in there for sure. Um, yeah. So how are people currently viewing you right now? Maybe we'll talk about what they're saying about you, but mostly like how they're seeing you and how you are like basically coming off to other people in the world. It's kind of reminding me of your like rising sign. Like, I don't know what your rising sign is, but um, that actually helps right now. Y'all could choose um, whatever you want. Use your best discernment. However, if you are having trouble choosing and you want to watch a pile that um, is associated with your rising sign, I would do that. So I will um, have pile one be in a for air signs. So that's Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Pile two be for fire signs and then um, and also earth signs. And then pile three for water signs, okay? I'll restate what they are when we go through the piles, all right? But that's just like a little way for you to choose if you're having trouble or if you want to um, watch another pile that may or may not resonate with you, okay? These are timeless collective messages. Use your best discernment. Leave the rest behind for somebody else to pick up. They're all going to resonate with you in different and unique ways and to different and certain extents, okay? Okay. So yeah, please hit that like button for me. Please subscribe if you like this. And if you'd like to tip, my info's in the description box below. I love you and thanks for tuning in. Let's get into it. So let's do our pick a card. So for pile number one, we have Sight of Owl. I just heard Spirit Owl, okay? So maybe you resonate with owls. And this again was for air signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So that's pile number one. Pile number two is drought, eight drought. Um, and this is for fire signs, um, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. However, you don't have to be a particular sign to choose this. This is just to help you out. Okay, and then for pile number three, um, we have River Woman, number 23. And I've assigned that to water signs. Um, and earth signs, okay? So Scorpio, Pisces, and why well, Cancer, of course. Sorry, Cancer. And then we also have Virgo, Capricorn, and um, I'm like, what? Are, who are you, Taurus? <laughs> Thank you, and Taurus. Sorry, Tauruses as well. So yeah, that's pile number three. Uh, choose which one resonates with you the most and let's get started. Hi, pile number one. If you chose 28, Sight of Owl, pile number one, you're in the right place. So I assigned um, air signs to this. You may or may not be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, but I feel like people miss talking to you. I feel like people miss communicating with you. Um, sorry about that noise in the background. You also might have had like disruptions or miscommunications with other people. Um, and I, they don't seem bad. They don't seem like super outright. And I'm hearing this word outworthy, unworthy. I don't know what that means yet. But like, I feel like you've been in like a, maybe a shadow period, but it's not bad. It's like a a hermit card period, a loner period. This is just the time that I'm spending with myself. And it's definitely like increasing your spiritual gifts. Um, I don't know if you're interested in that. I just did a reading on what are your spiritual gifts um, and talents. But you've been doing a lot of thinking, I can see, with this air energy. And it's also giving me a kind of, um, well, like a Scorpio energy, like shadow, like... Uh, almost mysterious, almost hiding yourself, but I feel like it's because you're figuring yourself out and I feel like you're being reborn or I feel like you've been in this period of being reborn for a while now in a way in which like maybe some of you feel like it's hard to resonate with the people that you've been, that have been in your life, you know, like the people that you have been working with, that you've gone to school with, family members, lovers even. Um, but this feels like a very alone card, but it's like because of, 
um, it, it is for the purpose of spiritual enlightenment for sure. So yeah, I definitely see you in an isolated kind of way, but look at what's around you, the sun. It's like you are the center of your own attention. The um, uh, sun god Ra, the Egyptian god Ra was actually coming through to me this morning and we don't really talk. So that um, is interesting. Maybe some of you are resonating with that sun energy. It's actually been all around me lately. And so I don't know what's going on here yet. We're going to see what people are seeing about you and perceiving about you. I think that they can tell that like you are being secluded, but like, don't get me wrong. It's not a lonely energy. I know I said alone, but it's like a very like rich and um, valuable. Um, what is this word? A velvety energy. It's got a lot of passion, even drive, inner drive and inner connection. You could be talking to spirit a lot. You could be um, channeling or trying to channel or reading cards, doing some sort of divination work. You might wear like um, spiritual bracelets or jewelry, um, gold. I'm also getting like different colors, crystals. I'm also seeing those, um, and then I'll move on, like hard plastic, I mean, almost kind of like cheap looking, but like, it's like, it's the shape. I'm not saying it's bad. Um, bracelets that are kind of like, um, okay, I'm hearing art deco. Some of you might wear like these art deco, like earrings or something. I'm channeling something. What is that song? I think it's I think the artist's name is Devo or D-E-V-O and they it's like a very famous song or very famous music video and they're wearing these red hats that are like mechanical looking. I'm gonna look it up. Um, because I feel like that's relevant. Just give me one second. You can hear me typing. Yeah, Devo red hat cone video. It's called an, whoa. Y'all look at this. It's called an energy dome. And like the light is making my screen not look cute. So I'm not gonna show it to you. But yeah, I don't remember what the song was called, but it's called energy dome. They're energy dome helmets. And that's totally spiritual. So I'm really glad that I clicked on it. I'm also getting something about children because those hats kind of look like they are like children's toys, but from Wikipedia, it says an energy dome is a hat often worn by the American new wave band Devo as part of the members stage outfits. The dome was first worn during the band's freedom of choice campaign of 1980. Yeah, it's like a political thing. I haven't read on it in a while, in quite a while, so I don't really remember but there's some like political stuff if you look up Devo or like the people in it or like what the heck is this oh whip it the song was whip it and then after that people started like wearing those hats and they started getting popular okay Okay, so for, for those of you that are like, I want the tea, I told you like, it's probably gonna be kind of spiritual and it's actually a lot more spiritual than I even ever thought. Um, it's really cool that I just channeled this energy dome because um, there's even like a mythology section on the Wikipedia page. Um, so before we move on to cards, I'm gonna read like, what this energy dome is because I think that it's going to give us information about your spiritual gifts and like what you've been actually doing because I feel like maybe on the outside other people might be like what are they doing like or they're doing nothing or whatever but like you're not doing nothing like I feel like you're going through these like really intense deep spiritual downloads and like upgrades okay um those words are too dualistic to um reference them uh in 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 a genuine manner um or in a way that is most in alignment with source and spirit energy okay let me stop being philosophical and read this 
So it says Devo claimed that their iconic energy dome design was used to recycle the wasted orgon energy that flows from a person's head. Okay. Um, whoa. Okay, okay. Whoa. St. Patrick or I Ohio, Kent, Ohio could be relevant or a school in Ohio, St. Patrick School. Okay. So it was designed, this is quote, it was designed according to ancient ziggurat mound proportions used in votive worship. Like the mounds, it collects energy and recirculates it. You've been like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to smack your card. You've been like recycling energy. It's like you're transmuting energy. Okay, quote, in this case, the dome collects the organ, it's spelled O-R-G-O-N-E, energy, I've never heard of that, that escapes from the crown of the human head and pushes it back into the medulla oblongata for increased mental energy. You're like, <laughs> I'm getting whip it, whip it real good. You're like whipping up like, I'm seeing um, whipping up like whipped cream or something or like pastry making. Some of you could be chefs or bakers or like to do that as a hobby. They're like, you're getting off track. Um, you're like whipping up like your energy reserves. I'm seeing like um, energy reserves, but they look like water. It kind of looks like water surrounded by dams. It kind of is reminding me of like Niagara Falls. But all of that... It's the water is actually energy that has been welling up and that you've been like sort of like recycling and like keeping it for a later date or just like for yourself. Like, I don't know. Okay, let me continue the quote. Um, it's very important that you use the foam insert or better yet, get a plastic hard hat liner, adjust it to your head size and affix it with duct tape or super glue to the inside of the dome. This allows the dome to float just above the cranium and thus do it jo its job. It has to be in the right place. Unfortunately, the without the fo sans foam insert or hard hat liner, the recirculation of energy will not occur. So you have to like be in the right state of mind and in the right like calibration method in order to like receive the benefits. So it's yeah, that's so interesting. Let me know how that resonates for y'all in the comments. What the heck? It's saying that people live an extra 150 years if they like wear it all the time because all of the energy that they're saving and not wasting away. What even the heck? Like, I did not ex ex explain, I did not expect that extremely spiritual message. So, I mean, this must be my really spiritual pile, y'all. Um, y'all are like, tap the F in. So, welcome. Glad you made it here. So, um, people are seeing you as a spiritualist. I mean, like, that was basically a personal spiritual reading. Um, people like definitely feel a kinship with you. I do feel that people miss you. I do feel like you could have gone through a spiritual awakening or maybe even some hard times and that has brought you closer to source, to spirit, to the deities, the beings, the ancestors, um, of belonging that you feel, um, close to. And it's, uh, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, stop. People might view that as self-serving or selfish or like they're not finishing this thing. We have this cycle to complete, but like you're out there literally doing your thing with your Devo hat. So interesting. So let's see, how are people feeling about pile ones like being in this in this energy? How are they pile one? How are they viewing pile one? Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Devil. Let me get a clue. And we have the High Priestess. Yes, you're so spiritual. 
Okay, cute. It says tarot on this person's wrist. We also have pomegranates, which represent the underworld. We have cats. You could be into peonies. You could be into Egyptian mythology, the moon cycles, um, duality, the dark and the light. I feel like you're not afraid of either. Um, or that is where, like, that is part of your journey and your path is to delve into or maybe even to be the midpoint or the conduit of dark and light back and forth up and down you might even be discovering new selves and you might even be fractalizing the self by that i mean you are not you might un become to understand that you as a soul as a spirit as a consciousness are not just you in this human body but there are other multiple versions of you that exist in other dimensions or planes of existence okay so i can't stop being philosophical and spiritual this must be the energy that you're in although i will say i do resonate with that energy so the queen of pentacles is curious to me i feel like people like i'm not gonna lie like it feels like people are like low-key like criticizing you but it's like really low-key it's kind of like uh, you're doing something that they don't expect or you're not doing something that they expect you to do. You could have been doing this thing for a long time. It could be a job. It could be like a passion project of yours. And you've clearly taken a step back. But like this, uh, I mean, I guess take it from me that like the spirituality and the self-development will uh, tunnel and funnel into your craft, okay? But I also have been, um, I just being called to say this that i've been personally struggling with um being such a spiritual being and uh, really existing with my head in the clouds or rather my head in the the midpoint between the spirit realm and the earthly realms and i know that those are like inseparable and all that but um it's not easy to to be human all the time and i feel like for some of you it's like the mundane things are like not so exciting anymore or not so easy or not like at the forefront of your life right now. I feel like people might think that this has to do with like either addictions or obsessions or they might think that you're obsessive about your spirituality or they might think that you're like a puppet who's being played. I'm hearing like puppet master, like being drawn to like um, people on the street who recruit for certain religions um yeah and they might like look there's like a sigil on the bottom of this person's shoe like they feel like you're like ugh. it's kind of it's not funny but like like oh like you're just joining the pack like you're just following everyone else and what they're doing but like that's what they're doing like the these people who are like criticizing you are like not um in alignment with you spiritually or at least not yet like they haven't gotten there yet or maybe you kind of scare them or jolt them a little bit with your knowledge and your out there like thoughts and personality and ideas but i think that that's like part of your role as a teacher and that in their lives as well that doesn't mean that oh this is what you're supposed to do dedicated to do no i'm just saying that like pay no mind to this kind of like what is perceived as negative energy because you are um forcing them to transform by putting something different in their minds or in their faces even you could be like posting about this stuff on like instagram okay so i got another deck let's see how people i want to know that queen of pentacles actually no they're telling me two more how are people viewing pile one i just heard pile two you might resonate with two. Ooh, wheel of fortune okay and temperance wow this is funny i kind of feel like these are and the eight of swords in the reverse this is so funny um it's not funny but it's just like ironic or uh two of cups in the reverse that's wow wow you're like transitioning and shifting like who you hang out with and like the types of people that you engage with like and the types of people that like you're friends with and that like you and that admire you and look at you because of your spiritual transformation i'm like listen you've changed okay and it's a beautiful change i love it i think it's great 
And some people, those that I just read that I said were criticizing you low key, they don't like it. Okay. But I think that there, however, then I pulled these other deck, right? Like why would I pull out another deck? I was not even meaning to do that. Um, because this is like a second set or a second group of people that are into you, I'm hearing. And that doesn't have to mean like romantically or crushes or anything like that. Wow, this is beautiful. Um, this is your spiritual kin. This is what I'm hearing. Not necessarily kin because let's just say that not all spiritual folk are in, your ali in alignment with you and your purpose and your path. But they are people that can um, provide you this sort of support or um, <laughs> why am I hearing the word excrement? Okay, it's like, sorry, these people have, they're in a different path. Like they've already like, they've, I don't know if these people are going to transform and like become spiritual, whatever that means to you. These people have already done that to some degree and they are inviting you. They are welcoming you. They are liking this about you. Um, some of them might have been like teachers and mentors on your path, but that's not really what I'm getting. This is more like colleagues, friends, like it's giving more equal energy. And these people are excited about your duality, about your dark and light. And they don't think that you're following the crowd. They think that, oh, you're actually getting in balance and you're getting in touch with yourself. And also even in touch with like, not only your emotions, but like ethics and morals and like what it really means to be like at peace or, you know, obligations in this world. Maybe you've been like, exploring like dark and light paths like the I guess like a left hand and like do have people ever say right hand I guess they do and like right hand paths like like you've got this beautiful balance and it's like people are like oh like it's their time like it's pile one's time now like kind of like they've come up I'm hearing them all the way up all the way up and so what's ironic and why I was laughing is because this first set group of people are like, you've gone off the rails, like not that intensely, but they're like, oh, like this person's like, oh, that's what it's called, like a sheep. Because they're fo they're like following this path. The other people that you're dealing with who are like supportive of you and like in alignment with that spiritual energy, um, mostly like the insights that you have, like the the idea the ideologies that you that you speak and teach i would say um you teach each other certainly there's a very co-teaching co like it's very like teamwork energy here they are like wow like they've seen the light like they've lifted the veil or they've lifted the veils and now they can like see and be where we're at and like i'm so proud of them that they like release themselves from those mental blocks and chains that were containing their mind. And what you had, like you had to go within to get there. Wow. That's really interesting, pile one. The hanged man. Yeah, they, people are, is that the star? Wow, people have just been waiting for you to pop out. Because you've been, I think even even these people know that you've been on your own journey and path. But I mean, just because they think you're a little, a little woo-woo crazy, that's okay. And it doesn't mean that you don't have to be friends with them. It's just like, this is the path that you, like, like people change. Like you, you ha you've changed pile one. You really have changed. But it's really like you've developed. You have developed. Look at that new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening up. So I feel like people can sense, yes, yes, all of these people, <laughs> spirit confirming for me, yes, yes. All of these people can um, see that you are on your path and your journey. And for some people, it might have taken a, a certain twist or turn or version that they didn't expect. And for some people, they're like, that's a little weird. And then for other people, they're like, I'm pretty excited about that. So that's exciting. Let's see, how else are people viewing pile number one? Sorry, I'm like getting frustrated with this. Good fortune and love, like it's, it's looking good. It's looking lit pile one. How are people feeling and thinking viewing pile one? Okay, someone will gossip about all your secrets. I mean, did I not just say that anyway? Okay, okay. Oh, the spirits are not happy with how I'm shuffling this right now. That's why. All right, I've got it. I've got several. So just give me a moment. I just saw misunderstanding, and you need to defend yourself. You might feel afraid. 
or like you might feel like you have to defend yourself or like you have to hide yourself. Look at you with your Scorpio, your Scorpionic, um, ooh, even seductive energy. You're like, I only come out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got like like a image of like an, like an animal that like only comes out of hiding at night. And then also like, I don't know if some of you like this was you as a teen or you're like a young adult or like you have a teen, but I also got like the teen like coming in, coming out of their, their room, which is like a cave and a hole, a dark hole in a dark cave. And just like to come get dinner or to like get something out of the fridge, like, LOL. Y'all are funny. I, I like you. Okay. So we have woman here. This might, maybe you're a woman or you're a feminine person or you have dealings or relationships with a woman. I mean, I guess like who doesn't? Look at that climbing towards success. So this is about your spiritual journey. People might view you as more feminine or rather like in touch with, like in the femininity is just being in touch with um, those sides of you because we all have them. Okay, opportunities are waiting for you. Some of you are confused by that right now. It's okay, just let it go and you keep watching me, you'll learn. April, and that April is when I'm filming this. This is a timeless message, but like, you're certainly going through transformations in April. I also feel like you're gonna pop out in April or like, because you've been like so secluded, I feel like you're you're about to show yourself or like in April or within this next month um, or within this month, you've already been doing it. Like maybe like posting pictures more or like, telling people, oh, like I'm doing this thing, like this is what I've been up to, like, and people are like happy, they're like excited, they're interested to see what you've been up to because it really has been long. Okay, you will be playing a different role. Yeah, people say that you see that you're different now. They definitely totally see that you're different. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Yeah, there's something about like you being influenced by these like this spiritual side or these like spiritual people or groups or whoever you're socially engaging with and maybe like family or like friends or like people from I guess your old life the old um incarnation of yourself in this very body um within this lifetime they're like a little bit sad like we have family sorrow like I don't know they might be a little melodramatic I'm getting a little weepy, why are you doing this? Um, you're like, cause it's an exciting event, mom. Because this is my calling, mom. You could be doing like some sort of like, like Tai Chi or karate or like Buddhism or like some sort of like Asian or like Asian diasporic like practice. You could be being taught by like people from Asia. I'm also getting Taoism. Taoism. Okay. You're like, <laughs> you're like, now I feel like you're seeing somewhat, you're seeing these people as having like darker energies and like they're stuck in the ego and you're like, you need, like, you need to come to my, <laughs> you need to come to my like peace meeting so that you can be like saved too. Not that like you're trying to save people or like recruit them, but you could be. Okay, but yeah, there are definitely some people who are not happy about it, but it's like their own problem. It's not your problem. A wish is granted, wishbone, so that's beautiful. Okay, we have parrot, someone will gossip about all your secrets. So yeah, again, people are definitely talking about this. Also, I have a candle burning and it just kind of made a noise. So there's definitely discussion. Um, I don't know what the wish is granted is, a discussion that like, Maybe you are feeling more in alignment now. Look at the parrot. The parrot is like a beautiful color. It's bright. Um, it shows itself off. Um, it's almost like you're parroting around and you are a bird. We also have this word from parrot, parody. So it almost feels like people might think that you're faking or you're like just trying to make a wish that you are like in contact with certain spirits. De like I just heard demons from some of you deities like angel angelic frequencies like what have you um it regardless it sparks curiosity it doesn't feel like i mean should and shouldn't is arbitrary but it doesn't feel like you should be offended it just kind of feels like it is the way it is and then as i say that we have the take care enemies are working against you i low key low key high key feel like from the temperance like the more spiritual people it's kind of like you're being asked to use your discernment with both of those these people that are viewing you in different ways because I feel like these people that are on the more spiritual sides, whatever that means to you, are like, 
warning you about like the other people and then like the other people are like warning you about the spiritual people like do you know what i mean let me know how this resonates y'all a period of ill health and depression okay well maybe you could have people could be seeing that you're like through going through a period of ill health and depression and they also could think that this has to do with enemies working against you possibly that's what that could resonate with as well. So I think that some people might be either misunderstanding or at the very least, nobody, yeah, no one can see the full scope of what you've been going through, but you've been transitioning into a different role. You've been becoming a different person, basically, in the spirit, through your spiritual ascension and learning processes and through your mistakes as well, I must say. Look at that sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start with the Wheel of Fortune. These new people or new opportunities are here for you. They are exciting. Aw, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Yeah, elephants are wise and they like have a really, really good memory. They remember things. I'm also getting the film Dumbo. Somebody has children here. I mean, yeah, some people have toddlers here. Some, some, of, you have, some of you have like two toddlers or like... You're under, like, under, like, six, seven. Mm-hmm. You could be revisiting, like, your childhood movies with them. I'm seeing uh, Aladdin, too, and I'm hearing Jafar. They're, like, kind of leading me to the painful memories, the painful parts of, um, like, Jafar is, like, the villain in... Why am I saying Princess Diaries? It's not Princess Diaries. Although, I do stay in that movie, so bless Anne Hathaway and Julie Andrews yeah so like all of those movies like you could be like those actresses could be in certain movies like Sound of Music like there's like a re like like wow oh my gosh y'all tell me how owl and owl bruh You're getting connected with your child self or you're having realizations about your child self. And for some of you, it could be through reliving some of those things through your very own children that you have now. Okay, that's just for some of you. Wow, good advice from a wise person. I don't know if you're, you, I think people are seeing you as a wise person that gives good advice or might be able to give good advice. You, you have very good discernment. Oh yes, that's what I was going to say when I began, but I don't think I said it, that look at this owl's eyes. They see everything. They're like, I can see everything. Now I'm getting that penguin from Madagascar that like does something sneaky and then goes, you didn't see anything. So you're like also uh, like concealing yourself in some type of way, but like you also like are keeping an eye on certain people and you're not afraid to have your claws out on the defense so i do feel like i'm gonna stop soon because this is a long reading but i do feel like y'all have dealt with enemies y'all have dealt with gossipers depression ill health even and it's been a long journey and you had to go within and get some sort of mentorship or guidance or advice and then you became that guide that mentor that advisor you're very in yourself and it's like leading you to beautiful things so that's a really really cool um deep reading about how people are viewing you um i think that it does answer the question and get to the point but i'll top you off with one more wow okay that's where we're going to top off just back of the deck the high priestess you're very spiritually advanced and people see that and they notice that about you and they actually i think seek your guidance even if they don't say it they might want to they might want to seek your guidance okay wow the tower but the thing is, this is kind of hilarious. It's kind of like those people that are not there yet. It's going to completely unsettle their foundations and burn down the structures that they've already uh, deemed as true for themselves. So you're definitely a challenger, pile number one. Um, you definitely challenge people and uh, just keep your eyes out. Keep an eye on it, on the ways people act towards you, their behavior, their speech. But this is what it is. This is how people are currently viewing about you, viewing you. And I'll see you in a next reading or another pile. Please hit that like button, the thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I'd love if you tip my info's in the description box below. But it is absolutely not required. I'm just so happy that you're here and hoping that you get something out of this. Okay, see you next time. Bye. Pile number two. Welcome to your pile. I just heard three. So some of you might be watching three as well. So... 
if you chose eight drought you're in the right place um literally uh immediately when i first saw this card and i put it down just now i heard hot and heavy um also there's dirt here so i also heard dirty and um i was like oh is this gonna be like a actual pile like what's going on pile two so i think that partially yes and partially probably not but um yeah also people think that like i'm like forgive me but like hills look like body part mounds like the chest area and stuff like that um i'm like trying to be polite here um some of you could have long hair you could have long dark hair could go down to like your waist but it doesn't have to or longer um i think that people are attracted to you and they want a chance with you and they see you as the sunlight okay right but they think that like you're hard to get or you play you don't even play hard to get like you're actually physically hard to get like you're actually physically far away from them you could have like a lot of fans online or like be an influencer of some sort or that like you are like of a high status or you're like high priority or of like a high nature like almost godliness like it's a divine high nature but it's also kind of like it's also in the human in the human context like a popular person but i also feel like that doesn't mean that you're not lonely or you you could feel like a loner you could feel like a popular loner um i'm a fan of that reader on youtube if you watch her too you might so um drought so they feel like it's like a drought like it's not that it's <laughs> it feels to them like you're the only i'm getting chills it feels to them like you're the only fish in the sea like you're the only option like i'm hearing you're the one that i want you are the one i want ooh 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 honey the one that i want you are the one i want ooh 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 honey uh for those of you who know who know i often channel songs as messages and so that's from greece right and like greece their relationship was like a lot of it was about like appeasing or like impressing other people and like that got in the way of their like love hmm I don't know if they feel like there's a lot of people in front of you or just like basically like there's a lot of hurdles, a lot of mountains to climb and they want you or they want to be friends with you or they like you or whatever, or even if it's not like a, they're interested in you like that, like even if they don't want anything out of you or from you, it feels like you're at a distance. It feels like you put yourself at a distance. Some of you might also watch pile one um and that like it takes a lot of effort and work to like get to you like i don't know like get to your i can get to your insides like get to into your emotions your heart um exactly nine of pentacles like i love how the perfect cards always show up you're independent and you like don't need nobody else basically huh you could have also been developing your spiritual gifts, but this is like also you working on your material self, your wealth, your abundance, your business even. Okay, so how are people feeling about, um, how do people view pile number two? Ace of Wands, literally, they think that you're like hot. They think that you're attractive. They think that you are passionate. They think that you have good ideas. They think that you go after things a lot, but you also come from, well... They could also think that you're very idealistic. You could be impulsive, but I'm not really getting that because I was seeing that you come from a grounded place. But then I saw that this groundedness was actually air. It was actually, oh yes, and these are my fire signs too. You could also be earth signs. Huh. Nine of cups in the reverse. People feel like you're attractive and you are highly wanted and you are an opportunity. However, you are unattainable with the nine of cups in the reverse. You are unattainable. That's what people, how people are viewing you. They feel like you are like, um, you do what is best for you, basically. You don't like wait around and like get like, mm, I don't know how to say this, like, you don't, they just want me to say, it. you don't like waste your time, like 
tiptoeing around other people's wants and needs because you're concerned with your own. And that's nothing that's bad. That's a good thing they're saying. Um, yeah, you're on like your steady path. And I feel like, sorry about the, oh my gosh, did you see that? A card just flew out. I feel like people want you to like step back into chaos. I feel like you secluded yourself or like you went on your own like journey or path or like project or school or whatever. Yeah, like you left a past situation or past people that you were involved with. Like even could be like entire friend groups, three of swords. And I feel like that hurt them, but you were not stable with them or they didn't have what you needed, like tangibly, materially, physically. This could even be like a spouse of yours, like an ex-spouse or an ex-partner or, wow, I'm psychic. Mm -hmm. Yep. And things were just like not emotionally balanced with them. You like waited a really long time, almost until like the last cutoff point, And then you were like, gotta go by. Um, I have like, I can't be staying, literally, I can't stay here and replay the same petty arguments over and over again. I have a life to live and I have a, I just heard I have a body to build. Are some of you bodybuilders or you're like really into your workout or your nutrition or something like that? I'm hearing workout plan, nutrition plan, dietitian. Some of you could have also like moved or you could have like gone on a retreat or like to a place that has like deserts. Hmm. I heard the word desert earlier too and that's rare. So definitely for you, pile two. Yeah, and I feel like people like are a little caught in their head and they want like, they might even like want to manipulate you or like, and not in like a super evil way, although it could be. <laughs> um, people want to continue the fights with you or the chaos or the partying or whatever was beneficial for them, like your energy, like just being with you, hanging out with you, seeing you, they like want all of it for themselves. And so they like would rather you they would rather you like are like, oh, like let's work on things or they didn't want you to leave your past job or something. And they want you to like, basically Six of Swords is going into calmer waters. They want you to be the opposite. So I feel like in the past you weren't like in a calm place and now you are and you have your stuff together, but it's taken a lot and you've put a lot of distance between you and, and like your past life or other people. Look at that, yeah, and it flips. So like you stop taking action on, on a lot of things that you used to. Um, for your own self growth and fulfillment and abundance and also your own personal wealth and like your career and your projects and stuff. And people don't like that. And I think that I wouldn't be surprised with the six of wands here if like these people that you were dealing with are like, if you like, I don't know if you like post your stuff or what you're doing and like maybe you don't get support or recognition from these types of people anymore. Um, I'm like, is it because they're jealous or it's because um, they're, jealous is not the right word, but it could, there could, could be some jealousy, but it's more of like, I miss when you were like this and not like that. Like I miss when you weren't in your bag, you know? Cause like, what are you paying attention to now? Like you're paying attention to your bag, you're paying attention to your health, you're paying attention to what is good for you, not what is good for them. And I don't know, it feels like, these people like got something out of you or like, I don't know what you did for them, but like you let go of that burden and call judgment on the situation. Wow, for your own stability. I'm hearing safety, well-being, and health too. So yeah, you literally had to let them go. You could have even lost money on this, but you're like not about to, I believe that you're not about to go back. Wow, pile two. How else does is pile two being viewed? Oh, my classic song, get out right now. It's the end of you and me. As the queen of swords comes up as having your boundaries up, as maybe even being a little bit cold, distant, um, very intellectual. I just heard softly spoken. You could, but you don't have to be soft spoken, but you could be soft. You, there's a sharp tongue here. It could be like what you say. Maybe your voice doesn't match your face or something like that. Or like what you say is like a little hard, like people don't expect it. I feel like you might have been in a queen of cups energy before. I feel like maybe you were a little over accommodating and I feel like now you're totally not. Wow, am I a psychic or not? Because I did not see the queen of cups and it's literally right there with the ace of swords, the truth. Spirit said, yeah, you're a psychic. Thanks, next. Okay, how else does, um, let's get one more card. How else does pile two's 
people, viewers, how are they viewing them? How are they viewing pile two? Some of you, again, you could have viewers online. Look at that, three of swords. They're heartbroken. They also might think that you're heartbroken because you're being like choosing yourself. What is that? Six of pentacles in the reverse because they're not getting what, uh, <laughs> they're not getting the same amount that you used to give them. That's why they're upset. But they might be viewing you as hurt for some reason. I think that they might be viewing you as hurt because you, they feel like you haven't like, I just heard trained, fully like completed your training or you haven't like achieved the goals that you wanted to achieve in the timeline that they expected or that you plan to be in, but it's okay. That was just like a side message. Page of Cups. This is about your ambitions. They know that you're an ambitious person and they know that you put up your boundaries because of your ambitions, but part of them is like, part of them thinks they're that you're a little idealistic. Part of them might even think that you're a little like dreaming too big, like nonsensical, a little immature. This could even be like parents or family for some of you. And they might want to like, save you quote unquote from whatever you've like gotten yourself into but I feel like this is the, your path and you're sure that this is your path and this is the path that you're supposed to be and go on even if you decide to change it later this is where you are supposed to be you're in alignment right um but like some people like from your past I, or even like people that you're connected to but they just like aren't on the same frequency or wavelength as you this is like very similar to pile one as well like they like want to like offer you because I'm hearing um this song by Willow. It might have a like a second auth author <laughs> singer by Willow. Um, come save me or don't save me or something like that. Don't save me. So like these people might be like, oh like come home, like let me help you. Like I'm gonna cook you this thing and you can get a job at here at the gas station until you like whatever. Uh, and you're like I am actually on my way in my retreat going after my blessings in life and you wouldn't understand and that's okay like you just wouldn't understand don't save me like you don't want to be saved and people like want to save you but you're like literally like you they don't they don't see what you've been doing behind the scenes if this is like a super psychic and spiritual like thing you might want to check out like process you might want to check out pile one but like But you're done with the past cycle and you're like ready to receive your blessings. And I think that people in your vicinity might be getting nervous because they're unsure about how you're going to receive these blessings or they're just not confident, but they don't know what you're doing. They don't know, like they, may, they maybe know you, but they don't know, like they haven't been on your path. They haven't been in the desert with you doing the work, have they? No, Bastet's looking at me and she's like, no. She's like, that's right. Ten of swords in the reverse. Like that's, it's not like what, what, what they want you to go back to in the past is like not an option anymore. And I think that people can see that about you. Okay, so we'll, let's see how else people are viewing my pile number. Let's see this three of swords. How are people, thank you, viewing pile two. Queen of Wands, yeah, very attractive, very go-getting. Um, ooh, that's why these could this could be a relationship too, or relationships, like even romance, friendships. You're very exciting, you're very high value. Um, you're a lot of fun. Wow, Ten of Cups. You are even marriage material. Um, this feels like exes, this feels like past friendships and lovers and even family. Like you're just very exciting and attractive and people are, people might be seeing you as heartbroken emotionally, but that's not really what I'm getting. I think that they're heartbroken because you are attractive and you are in your power. Why would they be heartbroken? Well, they probably just miss you, right? Why would they be heartbroken? The tower? Because it's different from before. This is the death because it's been a transformation for you, four of cups in the reverse, you could be getting new offers from people and they like don't, they like, you could be getting a lot of attention from other people, especially from new people. 
and they are like upset about that or they like don't want you to like they're like if pile two goes and gets all these offers from other people then what are they gonna like feel about me but I feel like you already are kind of ambivalent I mean whatever but I said what okay so because they're self-serving and they want to like get jump on a part of your train so that's really weird and interesting it's like I don't know if these are the same groups of people but like they half feel like like they partially feel like I don't want you to do this thing I don't want you to go after your passions and your crafts and your hotness and <laughs> whatever that means and then the other part of them is like well I don't want them to do this because I want to like jump on their bandwagon I want to jump on their train I want to like get something out of it even I want to be trained by them I want to be like them tell me what this page of pentacles is please the nine of wands yeah these like remind me of the people that you've left in the past like I feel like what they're doing isn't working or people are like getting tired of their own stuff that they've like been having to try so hard from. So I feel like they like want a piece of your sunlight, a piece of your sunshine. Three of Pentacles. They might want to like actually work with you or like you might start getting like DMs or emails, offers to work with you or for like collaborations like with people from your past because they are seeing that you are on this new path now. Does that make sense? the chariot in the reverse it's also to stop you because you're so strong why was that strength why are you so strong page of swords they've been watching you they've been looking at you that's the spying energy they see you as really strong and resilient and attractive like the attractive just keeps coming out and as like a winner, as like someone who is being recognized or who is about to be recognized or who has the great potential to be recognized, like in a good way, like literally. Okay. So let's use this deck. How are people viewing? No, they want me to use this deck. Three of Pentacles. They could be viewing you as doing some kind of teamwork. All right. How are people viewing pile two? Oh, you're being secretive or they're being secretive and they're feeling like that could hurt them or that um, you, be, you being secretive could hurt them or you not like being communicative or being in their life could hurt them. They also feel like you are having fun. You've got romance, celebration, and party. I'm just getting these all out before I read all of them. Temptation can will test you. I feel like they're tempted. What is that? Is that a magician in the reverse? Yeah. They're tempted to like turn things in their favor or like, yeah, like ride your coattail. Like, because literally like you're on the road to success. Look at this mountains. Literally, you are on the road to success. And they're like, they're feeling like it's a drought for them because you decided to go into the drought so that you could get on the other side and get into the water misunderstanding they don't they like they don't understand your path they don't understand what you like what it takes or what it's been you've been through or what you've been going through okay a couple more shuffles and then i'll start reading i just heard read the room and i heard the word jessica that came up again and i heard stevenson this could be somebody's names read the room jessica stevenson all right, any more? They're like, yes, we have a whole story. History, they feel like you have history. They might wanna go on vacation with you or they want you to take a vacation or they could be viewing you as being on a vacation, like from like the real world because you might, I don't know if you have like a, like you have like a spiritual business or you have like a non-traditional kind of like way of making money or something like, slowly but surely getting ahead they definitely see you as they see you as spiritual and as getting ahead as successful Jeez. okay it's really a lot so give me a moment get out they're telling me to put these back right now it's the end of you and me 
it's too late and I can't wait till you will be gone. Major challenge to overcome. Like you've been overcoming all these challenges and I think that other people are like mm, insecure or iffy about their ability to like get over these rough patches and challenges. And so they like project it onto you. Get out right now. It's the end of you and me. I feel like that's you at them or it's like their anxieties, their fears and their worries about you. Okay, so let's begin. Got a whole stack here for ya, pile two. Get out. I just saw deep friendship with someone of the same sex. April, that's this month, short journey. So yeah, definitely people that you were friends with, you could still be friends with them or you were really good friends with them. Um, they might have a therapist or they might be getting advice from a wise person and talking about you and their relationship with you and about maybe even how they like, there is jealousy here. And it like comes partially from you having boundaries and like not even like cutting them off. Like I feel like you just became distant. And they're like coming to terms with their feelings about you, how they're tempted by like, not just you, but like what you're doing, like it's exciting. And I feel like they wish they could do it too. November could have something to do with it. That's number 11. We have someone will try to make you do something against your will club. I feel like they just want to like join the club. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Something's really hard for them. I don't know why. It's definitely an old friend, or at least for some of you, it's old friends or old friend groups or circles, because I saw uh, a card about old, about friends, and then we have pleasure with a close friend. This could have been like a friendship, situationship, lover, complicated situation. And then we also have a distant friend is thinking of you. So like somebody is actually, I think, even tempted to like, yeah, hang out with you, but also tempted to like low-key be like you. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'll have to see. I want to check out that opposition stuff again. So we have vacation, happiness, and party. They like are like, it's basically like they're on vacation. Like they could be like talking ish like that. Like, because they see you as not taking action, let alone you've been taking action this entire time anyway. We have short journey. I feel like this could happen soon or it's happening this month whenever you're watching this. Or in April. Yeah. They also could feel like you leveled up really quickly or you changed or you distanced yourself or you became this new person or went on this new path really quickly and it was a short journey for you and they could feel kind of like upset about that. Okay, deep friendship with some of the same sex. Literally third confirmation of a friendship. We have August here. You could have like hung out with them in the summer while getting together with friends. How many times are they going to tell you this is friends? or old friends. Like it feels like friends that you don't like talk to all the time, but I feel like you distance yourself from like maybe most people anyway. Um, they're definitely in fear and they have, are feeling tense. Why do they, like they feel like you're a threat. And I don't know why they feel like they're gonna, I don't know if they feel like someone is gonna try to make them do something against your will. Maybe you just have new boundaries and they're like, they don't like that and they don't wanna, back down or they are worried about doing some, their own life in some type of way I don't know so a journey news is on the way I feel like you've just been like achieving things and they're watching you achieve them December and feel a little bit cold you know they might be like mirroring what they view as your coldness with that queen of swords but like you're out here in the heat and the sunshine anyway so okay we have fox shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business i was getting those things that they want to work with you these could be like old co-workers or like people that do similar projects to you and they like i said like want to collaborate with you on projects but they could be like a little like um sneaky isn't the right word just like a little shady or like you can't like pinpoint what exactly it is but like something's off could be an older man or be related relations with an older man figure they could have like a beard or like a long mustache. So their mustache is like grown out more. It's like kind of cowboy to me right now. 
grown out more than like what is considered normal or usual. Vacation again. So like you both like checked out from each other. But I think that they think that you're like not doing much and that like they're taking it more personally and they're not really, I don't know. They have mixed feelings, obviously. Um, but there is love, deep affection, and caring here. We have February. Look at them blowing that cold smoke on your heart. Their heart is cold, and so they kind of want your heart to be cold, but, like, it's because they assume that your heart is cold towards them. Like, it's just, like, people in their head crap. Like, it's just crap in people's heads. Someone is behaving stupidly. Um, I kind of feel like this is what people are saying about you or thinking about you or like this is like the what they use to like, feel, yeah, confirmation, to feel better about themselves and what they're not doing. You know what I'm saying? Or what they're unable to do. And then as I say that, we literally have unsuccessful plans in the reverse. So like if they tried to do what you were trying to do, they feel like they can't do it. And that's why they like are like, oh, it's like stupid. Oh, it's not a smart idea. Oh, they're gonna they're just on vacation. Oh, they're not doing anything. They're just like going backpacking in like Spain. Like it's like, what are you doing then, sweaty? And then they're like, they get insecure because they, they couldn't be in your shoes for half a mile. The, their plans would be unsuccessful. Also, this could be a marriage for some of you or a relationship and they could have whether or not that resonates, they could have also like tried to get married or had like a fiance or a partner and it didn't work out, like tried to tie the knot and they couldn't. Cause like tying the knot is giving me two things right now. It's giving me like Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts. It's giving me like agility, like capability. And then also like union, commitment. So that just didn't work out for them. Yeah, their wish was not granted. Peace and harmony. I don't think that they're at peace. On, honor and respect will come to you. I think that they, they do conceive of you as honorable, respectful, and on your way to doing that and being able to be at peace. Maybe you like make money in a way that is like really fun or easy for you. And they, they really have like a disdain for, distaste for that. Chain of events that will affect your life. Literally, I was seeing like they can see where you're headed, where you're going. Maybe even for some of you, like because it's from an outside perspective, like even farther, not it's not as specific as what you know you're doing or where you're going, but they like can they like I just saw tarot. They can like see, they might even like get or get tarot readings about like where you're going in life and like the chain of events that like it, oh if like nancy is on her way on this retreat right now getting trained to be like a holistic healer then like i wonder what she's going to end up doing in like six months like she's going to be really good or something like that so we have successfully overcoming a problem and time to get out of a situation so i think that they're just projecting because you successfully got out of a situation or you successfully overcame some problems or you're just successful now and so they're like I feel like pale, like fail. Like they're like, I feel like a failure now. And I feel like I need to get out of this situation. It's almost like they moved out of their hometown and like they're seeing all these things that you're doing. And they're like, still, it's like, I say, I mean, you moved out of your hometown and like, they're still in their hometown, like doing the same thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the only thing wrong here is that they're feeling some type of way, projecting, being upset because you're on your path. Do you know what I'm saying? So I don't know why you need to know about these specific people or groups of people, but I guess like vacation spirit wants you to like um, be more careful and aware about who your friends are or rather who you call your friends. And now I'm hearing these words back and forth, this, that, and the other. I don't know what that means, but some of you will. So I love you, pile number two. I hope that that resonated. Please hit that like button, that thumbs up for me. Please subscribe. And I'd love if you tipped, if you would like to. My info is in the description box below. And I'll see you in your next reading or your next pile. Peace out, pile two. Hi, Thanks. pile three. Welcome to your reading. If you chose River Woman, Number 23, you're pile three. You're in the right place. Glad you made it here. Okay. Got home safe or get home safe. Okay. Maybe some of you are traveling right now. Get home safe. Uh, pay attention to your surroundings, they're saying. 
So um, that's going to, you know, delve into the reading a little bit. We're just going to start right away. You take what resonates, leave the rest behind. These are general and collective messages. Not a doctor just reading the energy of the cards. Okay, perfect. So how do people view you, pile three? How are people currently viewing you? I feel like in general and currently, they are viewing you as extremely creative. Um, you make things and you make them look easy. Um, I don't know what your craft is. Even if you feel like you don't have a craft, there is, you are a creator, at least a creator or an inventor or a catalyst of the things that happen in your own life. They see you as a self-determining person who also works in harmony with the elements around them, nature, spirits, the water, the flowers, the moon, the sky, the earth, the I'm hearing um, Helix and Helio. I don't know what those mean, but I'm sure that they'll resonate for somebody. Um, hearing Triptych, which is like a painting st like shape style thing. Some of you could be like artists or art historians. Some of you could be painters. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful energy for you. Um, you also have an extremely mothering or nurturing energy. Um, it, it seems like you care and it seems like the people and places and things that you are passionate about, you are truly caring and loving about and for. Okay, pile three. So that's a really nice energy with this river woman. Um, a very wholesome, like, let me open my heart to you. You have a very, um, a heart-based energy. It's quite gorgeous, actually. So I didn't do this for any other piles, but I guess that you're special, pile three. Um, I'm going to shuffle this look literally high vibrational. I'm going to shuffle this. Yeah, I'm feeling those vibrations um, for you right quick. Super nice. And then we're going to pull out some cards, um, some oracle cards that I created just to see what's going on in your vicinity and how people are viewing you and why they are viewing you in that way. Yeah, but I just keep hearing things like creative, nurture, mother, I just heard Kenyan, Kenyan. You could have like Kenyan ancestry, like Kenya and Africa. Huh. I'm also hearing like Kansas and Kentucky and like things like that. You could work with like herbs or nature spirits. I think I, I said that already. Or like animals, but it's giving like plants. Could also be like a gardener or like a chef, like you like to cook with like specific greens or herbs, or I'm hearing microgreens. If this isn't resonating, these are just specific things for people before I get thoroughly into the reading. But yeah, um, so I'm ready to pull. Um, how does pile, how do the people around pile three view pile three? One, two, three, they're telling me. And then they're saying it. <gasps> Who's psychic? I'm psychic. I say in every single effing pile because things like this happen. Arts and creativity. Literally. <laughs> oh, just exactly what I channeled from the card? Thanks. No new information? Thanks. Um, okay. <laughs> no, but arts and creativity, that's beautiful. Okay. Okay. Ooh, why are these in the reverse? So we have... Um, education, learning, research, study, meditation in the reverse, but it feels deep to me. I feel like you're deep in like, I don't know if you're very like bookish or you like are not very academic. Um, either you are a lot or you aren't. Um, you could also be into like mythology or like spiritual research or you research about arts and creativity, um, learning, meditation, but this is really giving me like you go deep into it, like you go so deep into it that, that it's not this is weird, but it's not specific. It's vague. Like, don't, don't even ask me what that means yet. So we have unbothered, apathetic, and uninterested. And then we have someone you know in the reverse. So I feel like I need more cards for this, but they definitely, you're an artist of some sort. I don't, if you're not, then maybe choose another pile or like keep watching and then you'll discover that you are an artist in some kind of way um, or creative, right? Like, what is art? Art is everything. Art is everywhere. I'm getting big, like, art history class vibes from this. Um, someone you know in the reverse. So I feel like, 
Um, obviously that song, Somebody That I Used To Know, You Didn't Have To Cut Me Off. We were nothing. I don't even need your love. And you treat me like a stranger and it feels so rough. So yeah, I got chills from that, which is confirmation. So people from your past are like, I used to know that person. And they could even be like watching you doing your craft in some kind of way. Like, I don't know if you have like an Instagram or like a, a social media page of some sort. Um, I'm feeling hearing that like you, yeah, like you could like advertise yourself or like show yourself, but like, it's not like, sorry, just touch the camera. It's not like over the top or it's not like I'm doing advertisements. It's just like, oh, like look at my art. Like this is what I can do. This is what I'm up to lately. And I don't know, maybe these people are like uninterested in their own studies. It's kind of giving pile two. Let me check out what that is. But these are definitely people from the past. We have open roads um, and they see you on your way, on your, your road ahead even. And they do feel like it is like divinely guided. They feel like you were given like a God-given gift to like do this thing and go after this thing. Like that's how they're viewing you. But what is this? I'm gonna pull one card, this, or however many spirit wants, I guess. Um, not too many, please. Unbothered, apathetic, uninterested in regard to the learning. Like, what is that? What is this research and learning? Okay. Be careful. These could be like definitely old friends. So we have be careful. I don't know why. Okay, so why did two freaking witchcraft cards come out? We have backfire, unexpected, energetic return, and we have witchcraft. But the backfire was in the reverse. So it's giving energetic return that wasn't unexpected. So it's giving return to sender. So it's giving not revenge, but like response be care why did we get be careful and two witchcraft cards i don't know if you felt stifled in your this is just for some of you don't freak out if you already if you already suspect these things then take it but if you don't leave it alone um i don't know if you've been feeling like less creative or like less productive or like uninterested in your studies and your meditation and your focus and your passion there could be some sort of like energetic manipulation or work that was done however I feel like it's been returned and I feel like if it has this is something that you would have already known you would have known that it was just returned or you would have been like return this like you would have like noticed you feeling off and you did something about it okay someone you don't know could be involved that's really strange so i'm gonna um a game backfire like someone could have been like playing games or not being very smart or like what is that even called let's keep going because i need more that was just so random. What is this study research? Y'all, I swear, I literally was just, I put them back in the deck and I was shuffling it like this. Look what came out. The same cards came out. Witchcraft and backfire. Someone, what the heck? I'm gonna have to get some tarot. I'm confused now, but we will get to the bottom of it, won't we? You know me. You did, and I keep hearing you didn't have to cut me off. Da -na 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 -na. Like we were nothing. I don't even need your love. And this is how I get messages, so just bear with me. But you treat me like a stranger and it feels so rough. I feel like you're a very creative person. You are a maker. You are a nurturing, amazing, great person, right? And I feel like somebody who you left in the past, totally someone you used to know, 
right? They could have like done some sort of energetic work on you to like make you not interested in your studies or your craft or something. Okay, I have like cards falling out, but here, look what we have. Distraction, delay, setback, and past in the reverse. So like, I don't know if you were in, you when you were dealing with this person, they could have distracted you a lot. They could have delayed you or set you back from your path, from your creativity, from your work, even from your research, your learning, your schoolwork, your education, your yeah meditation your practices like that are for your own good and nourishment and like intelligence and growth and personal development okay and this person is like from the past past like they're either from like a really long time ago or like they're from the past and that it's not just like oh that's just someone from my past it's like oh it's like that person from my past like it's like their capital p past like they're never coming back type thing type ish um and they could have distracted you a lot and I feel like they are bitter and they still want you to be distracted and they might have even someone you don't know in the reverse they might have even been with or worked with or influenced someone that like they might have like teamed up with someone that you know but right now like you're like you're dead to me okay so this card came out second exactly second or third chance you could have given this person like a lot of chances and you're not going to do that again and you won't give them another chance and so they're like okay guess i'm gonna have to go to witchcraft to or just like some sort of like trying to get in or infiltrate your energy or like um like your energetic boundaries or vi like might have been like violated in some kind of way because like you refuse to give them a chance and I think it's also because you're such a beautiful like loving caring person that they probably like took advantage of you and just expected that you were just going to open up your heart to them again but they probably like messed with you like literally I've seen nine of swords oh my gosh sorry they probably messed with you so hard that you're like I literally have to close my eyes to this and like not even give you a third fourth fifth sixth seventh chance like it's not happening so they wanted to make you like not excited about your passions anymore. Okay, ew. If that's not gross, I don't know what is. And then literally we have the magician card in the reverse here. Um, so this could definitely be like somebody trying to do some sort of work. All right, um, cause and I'm hearing cause you treat me like a stranger and it feels so rough, literally. And then three of cups here. I know that was off camera, but y'all should trust by now that I am freaking channeling and not a weird faker. Interesting. They could have been like a weird faker and they like want you to wanted you to trust them, but you like learn better that you can't with the chariot in the reverse and the four of wands in the reverse. Like, no, like it's just, it's a stop. It's not a go. It's no longer a go and it's never going to be a go again. And they want to go again. They want to ride the ride again. Okay, let's hear more about, um, so this is what, literally, in my what, how are people viewing you, um, they could also view you as witchy, but this is not, I, this is a warning, um, or a confirmation for somebody. Okay, let me, let me do tarot. You didn't have to cut me off. Yo, you got justice on your ten of cups. LOL, 11, 11, 11. This could have happened or like something could have happened in January or on the 11th of one day or maybe even if you look at like January 11th, like if there's like a note or a photo that you have on your apps or something. Justice. Yo, you're like a fighter. Like you fight hard. Mm, you know what I love about you, Pile 3? You fight hard and you get your justice and you don't back down from opposition and you're still this loving character. It's beautiful. It, it is something, well, that an unhealthy person would envy. Rather, they should be inspired by you, but death and, yep. This person's just mad they can't come with you on your path. It's literally it. So why are we just talking about that person? I'll, I'll Ten of Pentacles, and, yeah. Um, you also could be more successful, like, financially than this person, or, like, more stable, and they don't like that. Um, I'm gonna pull on who else, like, other people besides this hater. It could be, like, an ex or an ex-friend, or it's somebody that you used to know. Could even be a family member, partner, person, I don't know. I heard some of them could be, like, non-binary, or, like, their gender could be, like, 
what I'll, I'll just say non-normative, non, they could be like non-heterosexual or something. You could be too, I don't know. But I just got that intuitive message. It's more like a gender thing. They like, <laughs> I don't like them. Oh my gosh. I keep seeing fossils. Like I keep getting a mess. Is this a bee fossil? I never noticed what this, what kind of bug this was. And there's a worm. I kept getting messages of fossils, calcification before this, like earlier today. And I didn't fully understand. I think they were messages for me as well. But um, it's like you fall, like this, ooh, I just said falsified. This person is a false person. They falsify themselves. I think that you, your veil was lifted. You're very smart. You gave a lot to this person or this situation. And then you understood, hey, I literally can't give any more chances to you. So you buried it. It's been fossilized now. Like it's, it's over with, it's done, it's dead. And then this person like still wants to like get up, but they're like a literal fossil. How are you gonna get up if you're a fossil? Can't move your legs. Wow, and because of they're a fossil, and also I kind of feel like they've given, yeah, they've given up on themselves to a certain degree, and so they're just like interested in you and like what you're doing. Tell me about this witchcraft. Ten of Wands. So fire was definitely used, probably candle magic or burning some sort of paper in fire. Um, I'm also seeing like cardboard, brown paper bag, that kind of stuff. Um, matches. It could have been really dark, actually. The moon, as I say, it could have been really dark. They also tried to cloak themselves. They also could have done this in a forest or they could have, we have 18 here. I'm hearing 18 plus. They could have also like used like sexuality in it in some kind of way. And these people are weird, man. Man and ma'am and everybody else. These people, these people are... I'm not gonna say that. My black ancestors in my ear, like, they stunting on us. <laughs> they were happy I said it, okay. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Also like this person looks like they're like, it's not the word playing stunts. I'm hearing like stunt double too. Like it's, it's even like they're, they want to, yeah, there's on a level they want to be you on a level they want to be you. Look at this, tricks. They're playing tricks. Could have been a jinx of some sort. If they jinxed themselves, it backfired. Ten of swords, literally. Bye. You would have thought, sweaty. There also could have been like poppets or pins involved or like, um, there is something, oh, I just heard, um, this is interesting, sorry. I just heard parks and recreation. So they could to, could have totally done something at a park or giving some, give some sort of offerings at a park. Could have been eggs involved. And also this is like a birth and a death and like a rebirth thing. So they basically wanted you to like change your relationship to your like passions. Um, what specifically? The hermit, they wanted you to withdraw from it. And they didn't want you to like show out so much or like they wanted you to like be isolated and alone, the moon and confused and and they might have even wanted your reputation to go bad. The fool, they wanted you to move in a new direction, a different direction than probably because this uh, either spiritual or academic or business like is very profitable for you or it has a lot of promise you could also be well respected very strong butterflies beautiful and you stand your ground um they wanted you to make a decision to move in another direction queen of wands ew okay um that's not ill with this person but i'm getting look nine lives ballroom cat they feel like you have nine lives like they feel like you just keep getting past their schemes and I think that they also are attracted to you and they think that you're very attractive and they might have even like this is like performative like it's performance it's also like kind of sexual or um it's giving like burlesque to me I'm hearing Berlin some of, like they like that energy like they wanted you to like be in a less like mm, institutional like scholarly energy and they wanted you to be more like reckless and fast and like like for example as if like they wanted you to like drop out of 
of school or college to like go be a performer or like a OnlyFans or something. The Ace of Pentacles, they literally wanted you to drop what gives you your your opportunities for money, stability, and passion. And you've already been doing this for quite a long while. So it's that thing, like it's the thing that you do, that you show off, that people like about you. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse because they didn't want you to have your everything from it. Well, what a loser. Loser, 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 loser. They were like, if I can't be there with pile three, then pile three can't have this. You stood your ground on this commitment. You also could have like been in a domestic situation with this person. I mean, I think that meaning like you could have lived with this person. They could have been a partner. But I also did hear domestic violence. So um, if you're dealing with that, seeing very, very good things in terms of the law and stuff for you here and in terms of you getting your justice. The cycle with this person in this situation is pretty much completely over. There might be a little bit more to go. 11 again, right? 20, 11, 21. 21, 21, 21, 21. Is that a song? Or am I just <laughs> wilding? Um, but I feel like you move so, you like move too fast for them. Like you move so fast that, that they're like trying to catch up with you and you're like 21, 21, 21. You're just like going everywhere. That's really funny. And you're also getting justice on like, I don't know, you might have felt like attached to this person or like you needed them or you were used to them. And I don't think that you feel that way anymore. And I also feel like you weren't like, like we had the seven of pentacles before, like you weren't able to like fully get up there to where you wanted to be. Now you can because this person in the situation is being released. 21, 21, okay. Um, what's being released? How, how are they being released? Oh my gosh, geez. The devil in the reverse, beautiful, literally letting go of obsession, letting go of like um, toxicity, of clinginess, of like behind the scenes, like evil schemes. I don't know why I'm hearing the word cure, curing. Curing, I guess, could be like preparing something like in, in, in cooking. There's a lot of chef energy in all three of these piles is interesting, or like they come in, um, but that's not what I was getting. Even like curing your health, like, I mean, you know, I'm not a doctor, but like it could even like improve your health or whatever. Look at that. That is beautiful on the two of cups. Close connection, deep sharing in the reverse. Like you're just getting rid of this person in this situation. Sick so because it was not equal. They probably even tried to hide your light. Look, and more, hide your light. And you were like, I gotta go, I'm dipping. Like I've been trying this for too long. This was like passionate and um exciting at first and then it got really hard and things changed and I need to move on now and so yeah let me know how this resonates in the comments y'all but look with the sun and the star in the reverse and the six of pentacles you could have given a lot more than they gave you um physically materially romantically um even sexually um and then also like I feel like they were threatened by you the entire time that they were with you and so they like tried to make it so that like you hid yourself, like you hid your body, like you hid your like hotness, you hid your talents with the star, with the river, like this is you, like you are the river woman, the river person, like you are the star. And they like wanted to turn that upside down. They didn't want you to be viewed and recognized and seen um, in your bright light shininess here and God given right to your shininess, okay? So, ew. Anything else we need to know about this person before we ask about the other ways that people are viewing Pile 3? King of Pentacles. Nine of Cups, Tower, Judgment, Seven of Cups, lol, 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 <laughs> lol. I tried to say like lols and lol at the same time. Um, what did we have here? This person is like unsatisfied with their own stability, their own finances. They don't feel like a king of pentacles. Um, they are a person that likes to show off, which is also why they didn't want you to show off. They're a person that likes to show off their trophies and their accomplishments. Guess what? They don't have any, or at least they're, they have nothing to show off now. Didn't work, huh? The tower in the reverse they kind of like are going through a, like a big moment i think that they it probably some of it at least has to do with the judgment that you called upon them them having to enter a new cycle them having to kind of like take accountability for their wrongs um i don't know if they're gonna do that or not though um 
because I feel like they're just kind of like something like was disastrous in their life or unsettled or something broke down relationships a job like whatever that they had that they were that they loved that they thought was stable that they thought was the key to winning and yeah it, it could be you too um they lost that and or like it burned down like this is literally their house burning down but they're like standing there like trying to like see if there's anything left that can be salvaged that they can use to like rebuild their house or that they can use to like bring as tools or materials to like the next plot of land to like rebuild their house so this person could also be moving um there's a lot of like possibilities here they're like basically gonna have to have a new start and like they're just gonna have to choose to like they're gonna have to go navigate their own path now because you're like no we're not doing this right i think they are concerned about their finances as well so yeah that's all you need to know about that person they're like trying to rise from the dead but like whatever it is what it is six of cups you know how to handle this from the past this is your past person that you're thinking of you know how to handle this you'll be okay just keep focused on your seven of pentacles on your growth all right um oh my gosh i'm getting like a rap song that sounds like the 21 song i'm like i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting this paper the honey the honey the honey the honey the honey the honey no chaser <laughs> <laughs> thanks spirits i don't know why that's relevant right now I'm getting this money, just getting this money. So fast paced, your pile. All right. Um, any how else are other people besides this evildoer um viewing pile number three? Ooh, nine of pens. Ooh, the six of wands. Um, not just as a brilliant success. That's all. You're just a brilliant success. People are recognizing the hard work that you do and you put into yourself. And they're also recognizing that you're like an independent person and it's not easy. Wow, Ten of Cups. People are like seeing you as marriage material. People are seeing you as like they want to date you. They want to be with you. They they like you're like giving like a wife and mother um, uh, stay at home dad energy. Like, you know, those kinds of soft dads. They're so nice. I love those kinds of dads. Um, LOL. Uh, how else? The Five of Cups. I mean, people have seen that, like, you could be sad about something. Maybe it's this person. I don't know. But I think they're just saying that, like, it's taken healing for you to get here. And they're, like, recognizing your process. Tell me more. Yeah, you, like, you had to choose. Um, I'm. This is really interesting. Uh, you learned this lesson of head over heart. And that was, like, not easy for you or not like expected to be easy for you because you are such a heart-based and loving emotional person or that's what my spirits are giving me for you right now um yeah you had to clean it up you had to learn the hard way is what i'm saying feeling and hearing right now why is this five of cups here for how people are viewing because you could not be talking about it people would just be like assuming that you're sad or you're like sad is the wrong word Okay, it's just that something in your past that you were expecting to work out didn't work out. It could have been this person. And so people might be thinking like, oh, like pile three, like had a little moment of sadness, but look at you being stable, like, and, and winning. Don't you think stable and winning is like worth it? It's worth a three of cups in the reverse moment for the wheel of fortune and the judgment, literally. You had to make like a really big spiritual call and i heard it was a close call couldn't have even been at like the last moment of the last second you could have done it it's giving runaway bride energy like what's this eight of pentacles it was for your work it was for your balance your stability literally how else are people viewing pile three I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting this paper. The honey, the honey, the honey, the honey, the honey, the honey, no chaser. I think that, um, so I think that they think you're attractive, but you're like not super interested in like love or lust right now, or even like going out having like tip typical, I don't even know what to call it. Like lustrious is coming to mind. Yeah. They just like are seeing that you're not really accepting a ton of offers because you're like, you're being selective with what you're doing and accepting in life because of this enlightenment all of these piles resonate it's beautiful one more how people are viewing my pile threes four of swords okay 
um, they see that you are, you're, st <laughs> they say you're standing on truth. They say you're standing on business <laughs> and you're not, you're, you remember the, the heartbreak that you've experienced and you're like, not about to let that happen again. Like you're at rest, like you're recovering, you're healing, um, from things that were unjust done to you. And so tell me one more about the six of wands and nine of pentacles and why they're seeing you as so good. Be, this, because you've overcome like sneakery and tomfoolery and like effery like you like you like see right past them you see right through them and you block it off that's awesome pile number three so that's your reading i hope that it resonated please hit that like button for me that thumbs up please subscribe and if you'd like to tip i'd love that but not required and that info is all in the description box below okay let me know how it resonates in the comments and i will see you in the next reading bye